Hey, I'm Brent and you're watching Steam Culture. It's Christmas movie season. One of my favorites is the Polar Express. Now we did an episode on the steam locomotive that was in the Polar Express, the Pierre Marquette 1225. Well, an invention by a Frenchman in 1855, Henri Giffard, invented something that changed the steam locomotive industry forever. Now, to make steam, you have to have water in a boiler and a fire. And to get the water into the boiler, you need some kind of pump, some kind of device. Before Giffard's invention, they used a re double action reciprocating steam pump. Now, very complicated, lots of moving parts and created lots of problems, as you can imagine. So here comes Giffard with his invention called the steam injector. So I'm gonna to explain to you how it works because it's really a neat device. All right, so here's what you need to know. This is the boiler from the locomotive and this right here is the steam injector. Now the steam is coming off the top of the boiler at high pressure but low velocity and it's gonna to come to the steam injector. Now last week we talked about converging and diverging nozzles. Well, the steam injector is a converging and diverging nozzle. So as the steam enters the converging section, it's gonna be restricted, so much so that it's gonna pick up a ton of velocity. In fact, it's gonna become supersonic. This is the best part of the injector right here. The speed of that steam coming through the nozzle is gonna reduce the pressure at the end of the nozzle, so much so that it's gonna reduce it below atmospheric pressure. Now, if you look below, we see a water supply coming in. When that pressure around the nozzle gets reduced, it's gonna create a vacuum or a void. The water is gonna rush in to fill that void and it's gonna mix with that high pressure steam. Now check out this video here we found. It's an awesome um, interpretation of how that works using water and color. You can see it coming in here. It's called entrailing. It gets entrailed into the flow. Now, as it goes through, it mixes. Now, the water, because it's cooler than the steam, is gonna condense it. And we've talked about changing state from a vapor to a liquid. That's what condensing is. So now you have hot water flowing through the nozzle at a great rate of speed. It's gonna get to the other end. And as it comes out the other end, the pressure is going to increase because of the area uh, increase, but it's gonna slow down a little bit, but that's okay because it has enough pressure to overcome the pressure that's in the boiler and that's how they feed it. Great thing about this is there's no moving parts and this is a perpetual cycle. As long as they feed steam to that nozzle, it's gonna create a vacuum, it's gonna entrail the water and take it all the way to the boiler. Now that invention is still around these days. It's used in lots and lots and lots of industrial applications. The steam injector, no moving parts, very reliable and uses the concept of converging and diverging nozzles. I thought that was pretty neat. Not only has it changed the locomotive industry, but it also has changed uh, industrial and manufacturing applications. So maybe you knew about that, um, but if you didn't, you do now because you watch Steam Culture. Uh, we had two exceptional videos this week, so I wanna give a big shout out to the folks that made those. We put links in the description below so you can go out and see them yourself. But while you're out there Googling things, Google us, because we've got great content for you. Each and every week, join me next week. I'll work on something for you. Until then, later.